Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. It's been a while since I've done any videos on the Odroid Go, but today I'm going to show you how to install some custom firmware known as Retro ESP32. Now this totally changes the interface of the Odroid Go. It's got more of a RetroArch-esque kind of look to it and it adds support for more emulators. As of making this video, Retro ESP32 supports 12 emulators instead of the stock 6 that the stock firmware on the Odroid Go supports. Now if you're not familiar with the Odroid Go, I have made several videos. I have a custom paint job here on this one. I did kind of a gold look to it and I really love the way it looks. This comes as a do-it-yourself kit. There's no soldering required whatsoever. You just have to plug a few things in and get your SD card ready to go. They do come clear. They're around $34 and it's a nice little handheld, but you got to keep it mind that it runs lower end systems. It's only got a D-pad, A, B, start, select, and two menu buttons, so you're not going to be playing the higher end emulators on this thing. And even if you could load them up on here, they wouldn't run well because this is powered by an ESP32 chip. But overall, I really love the idea of the Odroid Go, and if you're into do-it-yourself projects or retro gaming, you'll love this thing too. So here's a quick look at retro ESP32 firmware installed. We have some theme coloration here, and like I mentioned, it's kind of a retro arch-like theme. I think it looks really good. But I think the main thing that this firmware has going for it is the support for extra systems. 12 right now and they're working on more. Installation is super easy, but I'm going to walk you through it real quick. So if you're interested in putting more life back into your Odroid Go, let's go ahead and get started. Now all we need to do is remove the SD card and place the new firmware files on here. I'm going to be using a Windows 10 PC, but Mac or Linux will also work. All right, so let's go ahead and get this installed. It's really easy to do. I have my Odroid Go's SD card here. My Odroid folder. ROMs folder. Inside of here, we also have a firmware folder. This is where we're going to be placing the Retro ESP32 firmware. We're going to head over to GitHub. First link in the description. I recommend reading through all of this. From here, you can see the supported emulators. NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, Game Gear, ColecoVision, ZX Spectrum, Atari 2600, Atari 7800, Lynx, PC Engine, Commodore 64, and Nintendo Game & Watch is coming really soon. So there's a lot of information here to take in. Go ahead and browse through here. But if you're ready to download, we're just going to go to Releases. And we're going to find the latest release for the Odroid Go. It's the Odroid Go Zip. I'm just going to download this here. Now it's in my Downloads folder. Here's my Odroid Go's SD card. I'm going to place it over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to open up my Downloads folder. We're going to extract the Odroid Go zip we just downloaded. Inside of here, we'll have the Retro ESP32 firmware. It'll go right in our firmware folder on the Odroid Go's SD card. Now it's time to move back over to the Odroid Go. With the new firmware on the SD card, we're going to place it back in the Odroid Go. We're going to hold the B button and power the Go on. This is going to bring us to the firmware menu. We now have a new firmware we can install from this menu. Just go ahead and follow the on-screen prompts and install it. This doesn't take more than two minutes, but there is eight steps that it needs to go through. So just be patient with it. There is a progress bar that'll show up. The unit will automatically boot into Retro ESP32, and you definitely want to change this brightness. They've added 10 points of brightness adjustment. Just go max it out here. We can also turn colored icons on and change the theme from the main menu. There's a lot to choose from here, but I opt for the dark version. It just makes it a little easier to see. And that's pretty much it. You now have Retro ESP32 installed. You can start playing your favorite retro games. It does support save states. I'm gonna load one up here with Adventure Island for Game Boy. You can turn the volume on or off from here. We also have the menu button, which will allow us to save or delete our states. And we can also exit back into the Retro ESP32 menu. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I want to give a big shout out to Eugene from 32 Teeth for coming up with this idea. Him and his team have done a great job on this. It's really nice to see some new life being brought back to the Odroid Go with the new interface and added emulators. This is turning out to be the best firmware that I've tested for the Odroid Go so far. And performance with everything I've tested so far has been great. If you ever want to go back to the stock firmware, all you need to do is have that stock firmware on your SD card in the firmware folder. 
hold the B button, boot it back up, and flash that firmware. That's it. You'll be back at the stock Odroid Go launcher. If you guys have any questions or you want to see anything else running on the Odroid Go, just let me know in the comments below. It'd also be really cool if you could hit that like button or maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, thanks for watching.